Hello! The video you are about to see contains images of dolls only. Hello everybody! Hello everybody! Hello! And it is Mr. B's special day. Yes. Tell us why. Uh, we've got a tag. We it's a Mr. Tag. B tag. It's a Mr. B tag. <laughs> it's a Mr. B thing tag. And I have got Cordelia here. Oh, good. Um, with her usual hair in its usual terrible state. Look at you. You look like you've been dragged through a haystack backwards, madam. <laughs> <laughs> and she's wearing her usual um, her denim dress that you saw her in last time. But I am going to change her. And while I change her, Mr. B is going to tell you all about this marvellous tag. Okay, I hope, because you know about the tag. Okay, so I hope that you've thought of some answers. <laughs> <laughs> so this is called the whole kit and caboodle tag. <laughs> which I, I think, I must say, if you don't mind me saying, it's a great name. <laughs> <laughs> I'll let you say it because it is a good name. Okay, now... Uh, are you all right there? Yeah, I'm fine. It's just I lifted Cordelia and nearly strained myself. Oh, dear. <laughs> she's not that bad. Oh, she's huge. Oh, poor Cordelia. <laughs> <laughs> now then, you have won a competition and can design a brand new reborn baby kit to be made exactly to your specifications. When it is done, the very first one will be reborn by your chosen artist especially for you so you've got some big decisions ahead oh my lord i know how amazing yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and there are a uh, uh, ten things you've got to d decide okay so the first thing is will the kit be male or female and why did you choose this gender oh that's a hard one for a start um, 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 um i like both I think on the whole I would choose a little girl. Um, I know that little girl kits are often made into, I've seen little boy Saskia's and I've seen little girl Noah's and I've, you know, You've usually, seen little boy Saskia? Yeah, I've seen little boy Saskia's. Um, often I've seen, you know, lots of times um, they do gender changes all the time, but I would have my kit made as a little girl um reason for being is that um i i love little boys but little girls are what i really like the most of all and i know that little girls are what you like the best of all yes so if i'm going to have the very first baby ever made from this kit she will be our baby and i want you to be able to really really love it a lot love her, her a lot love I her say. a lot yes <laughs> so <clears throat> yeah uh, what did I do with that bodysuit oh can't find it now there's uh oh there there Duh. we go all right mr b to the rescue mr b to the rescue found before you go on with the next question can yes. i just show everyone what i'm going to wear please do i'm going to put a long sleeve white bodysuit on under this outfit because it's still cold and i you know, I think I think it'll look all right. If it doesn't, I'll take it straight back off again. But I'm going to wear this on her. And this is a lovely outfit. It is um, floral leggings, white background with little <coughs> bows near the feet, and a lovely floral pattern in pinks and orange. Um, no, not pinks, oranges and greens and all lovely, pretty colours. And then the top is white with cap sleeves. And the the, pl the the frill around the bottom of the top is done in the same floral pattern as the leggings. And the top is decorated on the front with a big grey bunny rabbit. And it's, there's a matching headband. It's really a cute, cute outfit. But I'm just going to try and see what it looks like with this bodysuit underneath there to give her a little bit more warmth because it really isn't particularly brilliantly warm. I let Ruth Ann get away with um, having that short sleeved outfit yesterday because the actual harem pants are quite thick and warm 
and the t-shirt has got quite long short sleeves but I just don't feel as happy with with it with Cordelia wearing short short sleeves so I just want to see how this looks right Mr B far away okay thank you next question so we've established uh, you're gonna have a girl a girl okay. yeah okay so uh, will should be made of vinyl or silicon and why did you choose this material well I think I know the answer <laughs> to this I think you do definitely vinyl um, I just my heart is with the vinyl reborns I love them I just think you can get so much more out of the sculpting um, I don't want to I wouldn't want my kit to be unavailable to everybody um i think that's a that's a nice and, and very valid point isn't yeah, it yeah because really a lot of people especially the high-end artists can't can't afford you know they can't afford to spend ten thousand dollars on a, on a reborn mm. and i think it's very sad to see some of the really really high-end artists and sculptors yes they want to practice their craft and and you know more power to them and they're making a great living but i just think it's so sad that their dolls are selling for so much that they're pricing people who really love reborns and really love their work out of the market yes i think it's very sad so if i had the designing of a reborn kit it would be vinyl it would be affordable everybody could have it and it wouldn't be limited edition either it would be open edition so that you know anyone who wanted it could have it yes that seems to happen quite a bit I've yes. Noticed. yes yes it does yes um is it a baby toddler or child and what size will it be and why a baby i think i i love toddlers and children but at the moment i am really loving having so many babies um and I, I think it would be the this kind of size that I've got now, this 22, 23 inches, mm. the zero to three month size baby girl, because I'm, I've just started to get a couple of these and they're so much easier to dress. Um, I'm finding getting clothes for newborns really difficult. Um, Getting them to fit the way I want them to fit is really hard and getting the choice is really hard. I see an outfit I love and it starts in zero to three months and, you know, and upwards. Mm. So I would like the baby to be in uh, like... Uh, to, to be a baby? A, uh, to be a baby, but to be this size, zero to three months type size, about 20... 23 inches long I would say mm. something like that mm. that would fit the size clothes that I'm putting on Cordelia now and she just looks so good these leggings just fit her absolutely perfectly there aren't many child size uh, dolls are there um you, there there are quite a few of them darling there are a lot more than there were when Lacey came oh, to us okay. they're actually getting to be quite a lot more sculptors that are doing them now. Um, I can think of a good few, as uh, as well as Reba Sheik. There's Jenny Delange and um, uh, what's her name, Natalie Blick, and you know quite a few people are doing them. Oh, uh, that kind of reference came from when uh, Lacey, when we were thinking about Lacey, because what, as you say, there wasn't perhaps as many then. No. No. Uh, is it asleep or awake? And why did you choose this? I think I know the answer to this one as well. Can I give you that hanger because we're going to need it? Thank you. Um, awake, definitely. Um, I have, over the past few months, uh, collected my fair share of sleepers. Um, I like sleepers for various reasons, especially when we're going out somewhere. It's very convenient to have a sleeper because people don't ask so many questions then. But I do love awake babies because I love the eyes. Um, I love striking eyes, beautiful eyes, like Cordelia's eyes here. Look mm. at those eyes, those dazzling eyes. And people do comment on them, don't yes. they, when they come in here and see the babies? They do. Yes. Um, 
if somebody's got really lovely eyes, that's the first thing they'll say, oh, hasn't she got beautiful eyes? Look at those eyes, you know? So yeah, definitely awake and, you know, I'd want big eyes. <laughs> well, this next one leads right on from that. Would you prefer a smile or some other facial expression? And if so, what? Um, I like smiles, mm. but, and it's funny, I, I haven't seen that many really out and out smilers in the babies I have. I do not have that many that are really smiley, no, smiley, what, smilers. What I've got Melody and I've got Brooke there yes. and I've got, um, I, We've got, she's actually going to go somewhere, but Laura, who I don't think you will actually now see on this channel. No. She is a real smiler, but most babies are not real, real, real smilers. Yeah. Most of mine aren't. I know when Rhea's here, she, uh, well, we're selecting the babies and she always says, oh, you want uh, Smiley Brook? Yeah. <laughs> so, oh, look, that's, she's such a little um so yes i think perhaps i i'd like an open mouth smiler so that she could take a bottle that would be kind of cool mm. a sort of smiler with a, a gummy smile with an open mouth and how would you like the hands to be open. sculpted oh there you are open, I've, open, I've, open. I've got to give the options oh i'm so sorry <laughs> Say, but i knew that's what it was going to be give the so for, for everybody else the question how would you like the hands to be sculpted? Open, closed, or one of each? Yes, um, I'm have, I've had to move the boppy because I must do Cordelia's hair. It's just dreadful. Um, definitely, definitely open. Um, I, I love open hands and I just see so many hands that are 50 hands, like poor little Ruth Ann's hands. They're so tight fists. Mm -hmm. And I just love an open hand. So do I. Um, I would like hands to be like Cordelia's, open. I love open hands. And uh, following on from that, how would you like the legs to be sculpted? Bent, straight, one of each. Uh, that's kind of examples, I suppose. Yes. I like legs not too bent. Um, Ethan's legs are really bent. And it kind of makes it slightly difficult dressing him. So I would like both legs bent, but not too bent, just nicely bent. Now, Ruthann's bent leg, she has one bent and one straight, but her bent leg is actually bent, but it's not too bent. So I would say, yes, I'd like both legs bent and what they call side loading, but not really, really too bent. So that it kind of makes clothes difficult to hang on them. So yeah, I'd have bent legs. Now we talk quite a bit on the YouTube channel about the uh, the different artists, the different people who, who design the sculpts. So this question is in line with that. Who would you like to sculpt your ideal reborn kit? Oh, that's a hard one. Ah, uh, I have so many s sculpt artists I absolutely love, admire and revere. I think it would have to be Bonnie Brown. I thought it might be. <laughs> <laughs> I've I've really got to love and admire Bonnie Brown's sculpting um, since I've sort of got to know her, and she's just she just rocks. Her sculpting is just wonderful, and I would love to have her sculpt my ideal baby kit. Just as an aside, there's Cordelia. She's ready. I've put the little band in her hair, and she looks very cute she's got one bent leg and one straight too mm. <laughs> although this one's straighter not perfectly straight she's gorgeous <laughs> right okay now we've got a couple of questions in one here okay because your kit is made and now it's time for it to be made into your ideal reborn tell us a little bit about that uh, for example the weight the hair and eye color rooted or painted hair or any other details that you might like to get us. And uh, would the sculptor reborn it, or do you have a favorite reborn artist? 
I'll do the last one first. Okay. Um, uh, that's a hard one, actually, because I don't think Bonnie Brown does any reborning. No. So I'd have to have it reborned. Um, my favourite reborn artist would be Ellie from Ellie's Babies, but she doesn't work with vinyl anymore. Right. So... How will we get over that one? I would then ask either Hayley Millichamp or Sandy from Pink Angel Reborns okay. to do it. I think either of those are who uh, Haley did my twins and yes. um, Angel um, the Pink lady. Angel did Harry. Yes. Um, and both of those are lovely babies. Right. Um, All right. So, but the the tw the the baby would be the weight would be at least seven pounds, probably a bit more, because I like chunks. <laughs> Um, it would be firmly stuffed but cuddly, like Harry is. I like, I, as I say, I like chunks. <laughs> mm -hmm. And she would have rooted hair, of course, blonde. I love blonde hair. And very nice, high quality mohair. The Slumberland mohair, I like that. She would have eyes like Cordelia's, kind of really striking, piercing blue eyes. The kind that the the ones from Germany, the I think they're called Lochen, something like that. The crystal blue eyes. Yes, we've talked about those before, haven't we? Yes, the ones that seem to follow you when mm. you move. I really love those eyes. And she would have, of course, Genesis heat set. Um, and she would have, oh, she'd just be. Uh, she'd have peaches and cream skin, of course, and she'd just be amazingly beautiful. I'm <laughs> sure she would. <laughs> <clears throat> and and you would be very much involved in the in the creation process. Yes. Uh, you you would give very uh, fine and thorough detail. When I when I have a custom made, I always do. Yes, you do. I always do. Yes, yeah. I know. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> and finally, what is your new kit's name? I've thought a lot about this, and if it was a kit that was going to be sold yeah, for a long time, going to buy. Yeah. and that people were going to buy, and no, it was a kit that they really liked, and I suppose it's terrible vanity. In fact, it is terrible vanity. Okay. <laughs> um, but I think I would probably have to call it Louise. Okay. Do well, I like that. <laughs> I like that. <laughs> because that is my name. I mean, people always call me Lulu, mm. but my proper name is Louise. Yes. So I think to call the the kit the baby Louise. Yes. The actual kit official name Louise would actually be quite quite nice. Yes. I always call you Louise when people come to see you, don't yes, I? Yes, they you too. Yes. I, I always know I mean it's there's something deadly serious when you mm. call me Louise. <laughs> <laughs> so it's a deadly serious kit that mm. that um you know Bonnie Brown's made that people could buy for forever and ever. It would be an open edition. So yeah, it would be pretty amazing. That was a lovely tag, Mr. B. Well, you had some input into it, but uh, uh, thank you very much. And, and um, It was your idea, and it was mostly your questions. I just tweaked it a little yes, bit. Yes, the <laughs> whole kit and caboodle the whole tag. whole kit and caboodle. And if anyone would like to do it, please I, do. Oh, please do it for yes, Mr. B. Yes. Please do it, because we all know how much you love Mr. B. Please <laughs> do it for Mr. B. Uh, we'll put the whole question list in the description yes so don't think you have to listen to all my guff and write all the questions down no because they're all right there in the description yes all you've got to do is press that button to expand the description and they're right there for you yes so they're, they're all the questions are right there so um that's everything for that's today it. yes so yeah um tomorrow you can do bottle feed yes i'll be there and you're going to feed ewan Yes. And I will feed Evie. All right. And there might be a song if we're lucky. Oh, right. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Take care of yourselves, everybody, and enjoy your babies. And let's, let's be, be good, good to, to each, each other. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.